Let's start the match in three, two, one, go! This is the autonomous period. Oh, that was a couple of shots from the human players. Just a bit outside. And, and here we go into tally up. We got a low goal. Oh, I'm being attacked by 3467. Oh, that's a low goal for main 11. Oh, don't break anything. Low goals. Low goals being put in by 58 and 34-67 and 8-11. This looks like a low goal match. Let's see how many balls can, they can get in. Whoa, lots of balls go flying. Remember, if you can get 20 cargo in, that's a rank point. 34-67 just put in a couple of them. 8-11 just put in one themselves. 58 going low. That's two balls for 58. Should I call them balls or should I call them cargo? It doesn't matter, I suppose. Oh. Cargo goes up in the top of the hub. Fifty-eight goes low for another one. Thirty-four sixty-seven goes low for two. Each one of the cargo is one point if it's in the lower hub and two points if it goes in the higher. Fifty-eight takes a shot. Thirty-four sixty-seven takes a shot. Lots of shooting this game. <laughs> We're in the end game period where you can climb if you want to or you can keep putting in cargo. That's two for 3467. They're thinking about climbing. 58's going up. Woo! 3467 going up. Yeah. Those are six point climbs right there. And that's the end of the match. That was an excellent match. And 17-15, very close score. So one of the big questions being answered today is, are low goals effective versus high goals? If you're scoring low goals at a very high, high rate,